Markets are largely expecting the central bank to hike rates by another quarter point. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schoenberger to discuss. Jen. Good morning, Brad. The Federal Reserve expected to raise its benchmark interest rate by a quarter percentage point in what could be one of the last rate hikes in the current cycle, which has proven to be the most aggressive since the 1980s. A quarter point rate hike would bring the policy rate to a new range of five to five and a quarter percent. That would mark the highest level since June 2006. That range lines up with officials' interest rate projections released after their March policy meeting, which was the same as in December, that saw rates peaking in a range of five to five and a quarter and remaining at that level through the balance of the year. The central bank is still battling inflation that has come down but remains well above the Fed's 2% target, while a series of bank failures has caused officials in recent weeks to reconsider raising rates as high as previously thought. It remains to be seen whether the central bank will signal pausing rate hikes or whether they will leave themselves the option to continue hiking rates further. Key will be to watch whether officials change language in their statement from last meeting that, quote, the committee anticipates that some additional policy firming may be appropriate in order to attain a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive. No new interest rate projections are expected to be released, only an accompanying statement. Fed Chair Powell will hold his press conference while all eyes will be on him for how the Fed views the policy path going forward. We know from last meeting that seven officials actually saw raising rates higher than that five to five and a quarter percent range, suggesting that there could be more upside here. That decision coming down at 2 p.m. Eastern, followed by Powell's press conference at 2.30. Back to you. Jen, thanks so much. And of course, we'll have full coverage right here on Yahoo Finance.